Hi guys, I'm Killian from Oculize and today we're going to show you a quick guide on how to use our device so you can get started with UE's measurements. Let's begin with dilution. This is what you'll need. Make sure your yeast is well mixed. Step 1. Fill your Pasteur pipette with 1 ml of yeast. Step 2. Fill your measuring cylinder with 99 ml of water. Step 3. Empty the Pasteur pipette into the measuring cylinder. Step 4. Run the solution in and out of the pipette three times. Step 5. Take the Pasteur pipette and stir a few times. Step 6. Fill the Pasteur pipette to 1 ml again. Now it's diluted. In order to determine the viability of yeast, it must be stained with methylene blue. Here is what you'll need for staining. Step 1. Take the 1 ml of diluted yeast sample and put it into the reaction tube. Step 2. Take 1 ml of the methylene blue solution and put it into the reaction tube. Step 3. Run the mixture through the pipette a few times. Now, let's load the chamber. If you're only measuring concentration, use the diluted yeast sample. If you're measuring concentration and viability, use the stain sample. Step 1. Use the Pasteur pipette to load a small sample. Step 2. Pipette this into either one of the chamber openings. Capillary forces will pull the sample through the chamber. Now the chamber is ready. Let's start measuring. Step 1. Slide the microscope into place over the mobile phone. Step 2. Insert the chamber and lightly screw it into place. Step 3. Turn the light button on the focusing knob on. Step 4. Slide the sample chamber up to its first marking. Step 5. Choose which measurement you would like to conduct. Step 6. Now you need to focus the images by adjusting the knob. Step 7. Take the picture. The app will automatically tell you if your images are in focus. Step 8. Click Keep. Step 9. You must conduct this step 5 times, each time moving the position of the chamber to the respective markings. In the sample field, enter the name of your sample. Date and time are automatically entered. Enter 1 part sample and 99 parts water for the dilution and 1 to 1 for the sample's mix ratio of coloring agent. Include whatever you would like in the comment section. We recommend where the sample was taken from, the type of yeast and the generation of the yeast. Click next to view your results. View previous results in history tab from the app home screen. In order to guarantee optimal analysis, the chamber must be cleaned and dried after each use. Step 1. Fill the syringe with distilled water. Step 2. Rinse the chamber with distilled water. Step 3. Use the bellow to dry the chamber. Pump the bellow to blow air through the chamber. Use a small piece of tissue at the end to collect the water. To guarantee ideal image quality, the device should be cleaned regularly. Step 1. Clean the optics from the top. 
Step 2. Clean the optics from the bottom. Step 3. Clean the camera with a cloth.